Hey Algebra 2, this next lesson is called Complex Rational Expressions. Now you'll notice here we have fractions within fractions, and that, we can't have that. So we have to get rid of the fractions within a fraction. So here's what we're going to do. We have two fractions up top. Let's not even worry about the bottom. What we're going to do is get a common denominator up top. Now we see 10 and 5, so we know our common denominator is going to be 10. So we need to rewrite it where this is a 10, okay? Now, how do we get from 5 to 10? We have to multiply by 2, okay? So we times this by 2, and again, whatever you do on bottom, you have to do on top as well. That actually looks like squared. That'll get confusing. Times 2. So instead of 3x, now it's 6x. Now let's do the same thing on bottom. We have 5 and 2. It just works out that we have the same denominator. So this also has to be 10 minus then 10 so how do we get from 2 to 10 you multiply by 5 so you have to do the same thing on top so this becomes 5x here you have to multiply this by 2 same thing top and bottom to get it equal to 10 so you get 1 times 2 is 2 now that we have 10s on bottom and top we can rewrite this over one denominator so we could put 1 plus 6x over 10 and down here, we could say 5x minus 2 over 10. Now, what we learned earlier is that you can change any division problem into a multiplication problem. Here we have 1 plus 6x over 10 divided by 5x minus 2 over 10. Now, you can change any multiplication, or sorry, any division problem into multiplication. That's not even straight. Um, by... Changes to a multiplication sign and flipping this bottom fraction so it becomes 10 over 5x minus 2. Again, we change this divided by, this line here, divided by to a multiplication by flipping the bottom fraction. Now you'll notice the 10s cancel out. You're just left with 1 plus 6x over 5x minus 2, in which you can't reduce anything else because of these, this plus and minus here. So this would be your final answer. Okay? So again, what we did is we got a common denominator on top, common denominator on bottom, so therefore we can combine on top 1 plus 6x. Down here we had the 5x minus 2. And once you have just one fraction on top, one fraction on bottom, we can rewrite this as a multiplication problem. And then we reduced, and that's how we got our answer. Now let's do a little bit harder problem. So here we have a harder problem because now we have even more terms. So what you're going to want to do on this part is factor the, uh, this denominator here to see what this side is missing. So we can factor x squared minus 3x minus 10 into two parentheses. So we have x, x. Since that's a minus, we know that it's opposite symbols. Factors of 10 that have a difference of 3 is 5 and 2. 5 is bigger, so it goes with the same symbol right there, so the minus. So we have 5 and 2, because remember, negative 5 plus 2 is, gives us negative 3x. Or negative, yeah, it's negative 3. Here we have x plus 2. And on bottom here, let's do this as well. We factor out a 3. We're left with x minus 5 over 4. Plus, we can factor that into two parentheses. Same thing, x plus 2 times x minus 5. We have 2x. So now we have to ask ourselves, what is this denominator missing that this side has? And we've noticed that this side does not have an x minus 5. So we can just multiply it in as long as we do the same thing to the top. Okay? Same thing here on bottom. This side is missing the x plus 2. So we can go ahead and multiply it in as long as we do the same thing on top. But notice this side is actually missing the 3. So we need a 3 on this side as well. So we're going to multiply this by 3. Now that we've done that, we can rewrite this as uh, one denominator up top. We have x plus 2 times x minus 5. And on top we have a 3x, but notice you have a negative, really it's a negative 2 that you're distributing, not just a 2. So negative 2 times x is negative 2x. 
negative 2 times negative 5 is positive 10. Okay? And on the bottom here, we have a 3x minus 5, x plus 2. Whoop. Okay? Here, if we distribute the 4, we have 4x plus 8, and we still have here the 3 times 2x, which is positive 6x. So now from here, we're going to combine like terms. So up here, 3x minus 2x is 1x plus 10 over x plus 2 times x minus 5. Okay, we just combine like terms in the numerator, this numerator. Now we're going to combine like terms here. We have a 10x plus 8 over 3 times x minus 5, x plus 2. Okay? But again, you cannot leave a fraction within a fraction for your answer. So what we're going to have to do is change this to a multiplication problem. Rewrite the top the way it is over x plus 2 times x minus 5. But we're going to change this to a multiplication by flipping the bottom one. So this becomes 3x minus 5, x plus 2, over 10x plus 8. So now you'll notice, once we've done that, again, we switch it to multiplication by flipping the bottom. We can cross out the x plus 2, x plus 2, x minus 5, x minus 5. All we're left with on top is the 3, and then in parentheses we put our x plus 10. And remember, we want to factor out as much as possible. So here we can actually factor out a 2. And if you do that, you're left with 5x plus 4. Okay. Remember, always factor out as much as possible for your final answer. So nothing else reduces, so this would be your final answer. Okay. I know there's a lot of steps. Um, some of these have a lot of steps. That's probably for the homework. I probably won't give you too many. Um, but yes, so keep watching this video. I know that some of the stuff could be really difficult. Again, this is one whole problem, but I've just want, take it one step at a time. And again, we've learned all this stuff for the most part. The only extra step we're actually learning is changing this big division problem to a multiplication and canceling out. So take it one step at a time. Remember the stuff that we've already learned. Okay, and one more new thing. Okay, well, kind of new. So we have a problem like this, 1 minus 7 times x to the negative 1 minus 18 times x to the negative 2 over 1 minus 4x to the negative 2. Now we don't like negative exponents. We never have. We never will. So we're going to try to get rid of those. So again, we've already learned this, that the way you get rid of a negative exponent is if it's in the numerator, flip it to the denominator. Okay. So now we're going to change this to 7 over x, 18 over x squared. Now we have positive exponents. Here we're going to do the same thing, 1 minus 4 over x squared. Now remember, you only flip what's connected to the negative, so the 4 is not, so that's why the 4 stays up top. Now what we need is a common denominator up top. So what is the smallest number that 1, x, and x squared goes into? And that is going to be x squared. So we need to change everything to be x squared. So this is going to be x squared minus x squared minus x squared. And we already have the 18 over x squared. The question is, how did we get from x to x squared? We multiplied it by x. So therefore, we have to multiply this by x. So this is going to be 7x on top. Okay. Here, this was, you can rewrite 1 as 1 over 1, technically. So... What we did is we multiplied this by x squared. So we have to multiply the top by x squared. So there we have it. Now we're going to do the same thing to the bottom. Remember, 1 is the same thing as 1 over 1. Our common denominator down here is also x squared. So now we have x squared over x squared minus 4 over x squared. So what we can do from here, now that we have the same denominator up top, we can combine uh, all the numerators. So now we have x squared minus 7x minus 18 over x squared over x squared minus 4 over x squared. Okay? From here, now, again, 
we change the division problem into multiplication. And the way we do that, again, like the, the previous problems, we flip the denominator here. So it becomes x squared over x squared minus 4. Now you'll notice here that you're ab able to cross out the x squares. And now if you look at this, um, you should be able to see that you can factor this. Factor the top up there to be x minus 9, x plus 2. Again, we've done this. This one, x plus 2, x minus 2, because it's in the format of a squared minus b squared. Now we can cross out the x plus 2s, because it's same top and bottom. So our final answer is x minus 9 over x minus 2. And there you have it. So again, what I did, switch to, to get rid of the negative exponent, move it below the 7, move the x squared below the 18 to make it positive. Same thing down here. Then we find our common denominator, which is going to be x squared. Now, almost all the problems that are set up like this, you're going to follow the same exact steps. And then once we get them all the same, we can write it, all the numerator as 1, change it to a multiplication problem by flipping the bottom fraction. Then we cancel out, factor, cancel out. So good luck with that. That's how we do the complex rational expressions. And uh, keep watching this video as many times as you need to help you and ask questions at school if you need help. All right, take care. Good luck.